Yup, I got this. I got, oh shit, she looking ugly. Oh, she look like a whole birthday cake. Oh shit. <laughs> Damn. I got this, I got this. I got this. Let's go, baby, come on. Come on, D. One, huh? Two, huh? Three, huh? Come on, D. Come on, get it! Get it! Let me Let me Let me Let me What's good, family? So mash the like button and subscribe. So we just saw the Deontay bird chest, Deontay pigeon chest, Wilder pushing out or pushing or trying <laughs> pushing out some crazy, goofy looking ass reps on the bench press. Now this video really, this video I can't even lie to you, man, is an indictment. On the state of boxing training. An indictment on the state of boxing training. Deontay Wilder, yeah. No matter what way we want to cut it. No matter what way we want to cut it. He would be a top 10 fighter in the world. In terms of gr what he grosses kind of thing. If you were to list top 10 fighters actively. He'd obviously have AJ, Canelo. Wilder's going to be in top 10. Possibly even, maybe you know, maybe even seven or eight or six or something. And for the top six fighter to have trainers who allow their athlete. Wilder's about to fight in three weeks. And he's doing shoulder snapper reps. We already know Wilder's nutritionist has done him wrong. We already know Wilder's genetics are flawed. And he loves pulling out his muscles. And he's lifting one rep max is... One rep max, yeah, at the best of times, done with proper form, done with proper guidance, is risky. When you're pushing like that, obviously, when you're going all in, even in a safe way, again, under good leadership and guidance, it's risky. One rep max is, bottom line, the riskiest thing for me doing a gym. And he's doing that three weeks before he has his big fight. Now, I'm actually hearing that the reason he's putting this video out, I'm going to cover this in its own right, but I'm hearing just quickly, the reason he's doing this is to build in an excuse. Do you remember Manny Pacquiao? Manny Pacquiao, when he lost to Floyd, oh, but my shoulder was hurting. I'm hearing Deontay Wilder's under a lot of pressure in as much as if he loses this next fight, he can't afford to do that without a built-in excuse. So again, like I told you, man, I'm hearing... Wilder's putting this out as essentially as evidence to show the paper trail. Oh, but yeah, my shoulders hurt. But look, yeah, look, I didn't realise I was doing... My form was wrong. Oops. Yeah, I'm going to... Oh, I need to get the third Fury fight because look, my shoulder was... My chest and my shoulder, my bicep. One of them ones. You best believe. Anyway, I'm just giving you man a jump before I leak my exclusive sources. Let's, go, let's move on with this particular video. So we've seen Wilder doing his one rep max shoulder snapper. And like I was saying, this is a, this right here is an indictment on the state of boxing training. Because what what trainer allows this? They're f fair enough, yeah. If you're a year ago, when Wilder was in the off season, when C19 was about, there's not going to be no fights in the near future. If you want to mess around, do some crazy one rep maxes and pop your shoulder out and have bad form, go for it. I wouldn't recommend it as a top ten athlete. I mean, you know what I'm saying? You're meant to, you're a top 10 athlete. What trainers are around you that are allowing this? Because I can tell you this for free. If it was my athlete, even in the off season, you don't want to be injured. Athletes don't want to be injured at no point in time. The minute I see someone's arm struggling like that, you know what? We've loaded up too much weight. But clearly, they haven't got no clue what they're doing. Just piling weight on. And it, if I was to bet... I'd bet they're kind of being, they're being number focused. I bet they've picked a, num a number out of the sky, 150. Yeah, we must hit 150. Rather than saying, well, he can do 110 properly. Let's start at 110 and get to 150 properly. These goofy gym bros who don't have a clue what they're doing, don't have a clue how to periodize, they just end up whacking weights on a, a number chasing. Well, 150 is nice and round. Let's go for that. Rather than saying, well, 150 might be round. But he can only do 120 safely and properly. And really, when you look at his form again, 
And when you do these goofy one rep maxes like that, you're not even working the muscle. You're working your back, you're working everything, everything but what you want to work. Chest press is mainly triceps and chest and a bit of shoulders. And as we know, for the main, bench press is kind of like an isolation exercise for the chest. The way that Wilder's doing this, he's got his glutes involved, his back, he's, got, he's moving his waist into it, trying to hitch it up. Wow! What is this? Are you trying to train for a purpose or just try and be a gym bro? This was a failed gym bro. I don't mind. We, we've seen all these kind of failed gym bro videos before on YouTube. But I didn't expect it from a top 10 athlete with a million dollar camp. This was shocking. But again, I've been telling you man for a while now. The state of boxing trainer training and especially the level of sports science stuff. It's shocking. You've got a lot of goofy sports science dons in boxing at the moment who claim they've got all these qualifications, in reality, they, they're gym bros, haven't got a clue what they're doing. And I've been telling you that for years. I've been in, I've been to sport at a high level and I've witnessed it. Oh, you've got all these people, oh, I've got this, I've got that. They haven't got a clue what they're doing. And clearly, Wilder's well, got about four people around him, four trainers, not one of them thought to say, wait there a minute, let's drop the weight and let's get him doing a proper rep so we can work some proper muscle. It's no wonder Wilder's got a bird chest because he ain't working the muscle. He ain't working the chest. He's working momentum and just hitching it up. Hitching it up is the worst way to to do anything, because you're not you're not you're not recruiting the you're not recruit, recruiting the fibers you want to recruit. It's much better to do a two rep max where you're actually hitting the muscle than it is to do. I wouldn't even call that a rep, because again, the worst thing is if you actually look carefully, not the worst thing, but one of the contributing worst things, you actually see. The Dons on the side, they're picking up most of the weight. His spotters, yeah, they're doing most of the weight in the end. When he starts struggling, they start picking it up for him. Which is actually, to be fair, in terms of safety and whatnot, it's actually probably best for him. But still, why load so much weight on that he clearly can't do? And then, you, and then the, again, he starts jumping up and celebrating. Uh -huh. You're celebrating nearly snapping your chest out and snapping your shoulder out three weeks before. Of a rep. You're celebrating a rep you didn't even do. Because half of it was taken by your spotters. And the other half was done by everything but your chest. <laughs> it's one thing, yeah, to half decent. I, um, I understand that you don't have to do everything strictly. I, Me personally, I prefer to do things strict. But whatever. If you want to be a bit loosey-goosey, I, I, I get that. And from what, I've, from what I understand, sometimes... Doing, adding a few loosey-goosey reps in towards the end can be beneficial if you kind of want to just blow the muscle out. But doing a one rep max like that has no benefit because you weren't even lifting the weight. And then the bit you did lift, one arm's going up, the other arm's going, the other arm's hanging down. Wow, this was bad. Super bad. You've got a barbell. What? Your man Wilder was lifting it like a dumbbell, I swear, watch it, he, one arm goes up and the other arm lags back, he, he was doing dumbbells on the barbell, one up, one down, <laughs> it's, I don't care what no one says, this is mental, absolutely mental, for this kind of, and I'm not being funny man, I've talked about top 10, top 10 athlete, but this shouldn't be acceptable in no gym, any gym where you've got a trainer, if they're allowing this to go on, there's serious problems. It's real bad. It's I'm telling you now, the, the, the whole sports science thing in boxing is super bad. It's some of the worst I've, I've ever seen. Just look at it. Like I said at the start, it's an indictment on the sport and the state of sports science and training in boxing. And the way they're celebrating, they're celebrating it. It's like, this is the most dangerous and most stupid thing I've ever seen from a camp. And then, it's one thing to put the video out and be naive. It's another thing to put the video out and be cheering like you've just done something real legit. And I'm not even going to really get into the whole, people were saying, well, it's not a lot of weight. Yeah, it weren't, to be fair, for a man who's 220 pounds that's an athlete. 220 pound man who's an athlete. Lifting 150 kilos isn't a big deal at all. And again, 
The worst thing is, he didn't lift 150 kilos. Because he had two spotters who were taking probably 40 kilos off each. <laughs> you'd, honestly, you'd be surprised when you've got two spotters like that. Even them just putting their hands underneath it. And they was grabbing it. They, no word of a lie, they would have taken 20 to 30 kilos off each. There's 50 kilos gone. So he's pushing 100 kilos up. As a 220 kilo man. And then, to add, to add further insult to injury. So wait there, your two spotters took 50 kilos off, and then you didn't even push it up. It's not like, because sometimes, good good trainers, if you're struggling with a rep here, good trainers, they take off, they'll, they'll kind of get you with the spot, and they'll take off enough weight so that you can have a smooth range of motion. Wilder's spotters are so uneducated, they, took, they only took off enough weight to let him still have bad form, do you understand? <laughs> it's just a big mess. If you're gonna take if you're gonna support him anyway, you might as well support him enough so he keeps it smooth. These mans were taking fifty kilos of weight off and then still he was struggling. I think Wilder I think Wilder probably pushed about seventy kilos, no joke. Wilder looks like Wilder pushed seventy kilos legit. Because his spotters took fifty off and then that leaves a hundred, but he didn't do the hundred clean. There was a hundred and forty on the rack, I think. His spotters took 40 off, and then he was still struggling. So he probably managed to do about 70 kilos clean. <laughs> Wilder's pushing it. Wilder's, Wilder's probably got a 70 or 80 kilo one rep max, no doubt. A 70 or 80 one rep max. Yes, a 70 or 80 kilo one rep max. Now, to be fair, it's boxing, but that is bad either way. I mean, even if you want to play devil's advocate and say it's 100 kilos, that's bad. I'm five foot nine, and when I was when I was two hundred pounds, so twenty pounds less than Wilder, I was able to do in my prime. I was able to do hundred kilos for ten reps. Wilder can't even do one at a hundred, and his shoulders snapping, and he's an athlete. Wow, he's super weak, super weak. That's what we do know. And then he's jumping up and celebrate. I just feel bad for him. I feel like he's got a lot of people, a lot of leeches. A lot of bums around him who don't have a clue what he's doing or what they're doing and it's just a big kind of a, a big uh what do you call it it's a big not a clown show it's a big circus that's it a big circus it's a big circle jerk circus where they're all kind of just getting off they're all they've, they've got wilder in the middle yeah and you've got all these leech dons just stroking themselves off and Wilder's just in the middle trying to kind of get on the end of every one of them just before just before the end just before they just before they finish you've got Wilder in the middle yeah you've got a whole bag of dons all the people around Wilder his goofy fake uneducated low IQ sports science team and and gym team they're just all around him just stroking and he's just there waiting to catch the nut that's how I feel and then when, and then they're kind of celebrating it and jumping up and celebrating the nut. Wow. Wilder's whole team are just getting off all over his barnet right now. And he's enjoying it. He's celebrating it. He don't know how bad it looks. And I've heard, I've heard all the takes. Not one person has come at you with this kind of detail. I hate to break it to you, but it's the truth. No one's come with this kind of detail. Exposing it like this. Because this was bad. Yeah. I'm surprised. Hatman was talking about, oh, I can't believe how much weight he wasn't lifting weight. That's the last of the problems. He didn't lift the weight. The spotters lifted the weight. His, he, he, his hips lifted the weight. He was swaying left and right. He was doing all of it. He was doing everything but chest. And then jumped up and went, yeah. Wow. This is bad. This is super bad. And like I told you at the start, what's coming next is, You'll hear about the shoulder injury. You'll hear about his pigeon chest being pulled. Three weeks before the biggest fight in your life. And you're doing that. Like, again, that's another point. The, one of the first things you learn in sports science, or you should be learning, especially in, in elite level athletes, is kind of periodizing work. And you want to taper. So as you get close to the event, the last four to, or two to four weeks, you're easing off. The last thing you should be doing is a one rep max. Two, two, three, four weeks out. 
what for? Putting that, taking that kind of risk and putting that kind of effort in. If you're not, if you're not strong already, the last three weeks, like I told you, man, that kind of work, then that really extreme work you do in the off season. If you want to lift real heavy weight, that's when you do it in the off season. You don't do it in the, in your camp. Your camp's supposed to be about refining, refining the movements, getting being explosive. It took him about twenty minutes to lift that one rep. In an eight-week camp, you should be focusing on pure explosive movements. In in your off season, that's when you lift heavy and slow. Why are you lifting heavy and slow for three weeks before you fight? You want to be slow. But again, these guys, these aren't trained people. They haven't got a clue what they're doing. It's it's actually quite shocking to see. They're taking all this risk and it's absolute. Like, what's the upside of this? Well, I tell you, like, there is one upside, and it appears what they were doing was, like I told you, they was clearly number chasing. They was achievement chasing. They told Wilder, yeah, Wilder, if you can lift 150, you're going to be powerful enough to knock, what, to knock Fury out. That's what I believe happened here. It appears to me they've kind of put some... There's something more to this lift. The way that he's celebrating it and cheering it. It's almost like they've psychologically built him up. Yeah, Wilder, we're going to start lifting. And if you can hit 150, uh, if you can hit 150 before you fight Fury, you're probably going to knock him out. Or you'll, be, you'll have enough to knock him out. And that's why they were so desperate to, to get this weight up for him. That's why he had two spotters picking most of it up for him. Because he needed that he needed that kind of confidence. And we know how mentally broken Wilder is. So it wouldn't be a shock to learn that he needs something from outside of himself. He needs to have, oh well, yeah, I know, I can, I know I've got the power to, to knock Fury out now. Because my gym man told me it. Because I've lifted a, 150 kilos. Even though you didn't lift it, but whatever. That's the only benefit here, I can see. He's hit a target. That's it. In his mind, I mean, he's hit a target. And there's somehow they're working off of that. That's the only benefit I can s that makes sense. Or the only benefit of what we've just witnessed there. But you could have hit that. You could have If you wanted to hit a goofy target, you could have done that anyway and done it properly. What's the, I don't understand this. That's a lot of the gym culture. People are, people get off about hitting a number. It's about working the muscle. If you're working the muscle at 120 kilos, that's what it is. It's much better to lift 120 properly than lift 150. And you, guess what? You haven't even hit it. Or you're hitting it in an unbalanced way. You're going to develop imbalances. And we already know Wilder's balance is shocking already. The last thing he needs is one... You know what I'm saying? It's all... It's, wow, it's bad. Super bad. But, end of the day, these, these trainers are making hundreds of thousands of dollars to be doing this. An indictment on the state of boxing training. That's what we do know. No doubt. You've got Tundi telling Anthony Yard to empty the tank. This is... Honestly, I'm... I'm disgusted with the level of boxing training going on in 2021. It's shocking. It's a bunch of... In as I've been saying, people think I'm joking, but this is just more evidence. There's a bunch of Instagram trainers, fake fake, fake sports science muppets, who ain't, don't know what they're doing, have no have no real background, just went, just jumped on it. Oh, a lot of these cats here, they went on Instagram when it first launched, because they was older, they was like 30. They got on Instagram 10 years ago, yeah. And they had good bodies. And that's how they got to where they are, 100%. These guys, and then what they do is, they end up going online and buying fake degrees. And all this other stuff. No doubt. Oh, but look, yeah, but look at his body. And there's a lot of gullible people who haven't got a clue what they're doing. They see the Instagram pictures, which most of which have been photoshopped anyway. But either way, they, they see the Instagram pictures. And most of these dons are juiced out of their mind. But still, oh yeah, look, I'm natural, I'm natty. Oh, but I'm natural, and yeah, follow me. 100% fake degrees, fake testosterone, and that's the end of that, and Instagram plugin, that's what it is, Wilder hired a juicy Don with a fake degree, that's the only conclusion we've got here, because there's no way any man is building muscle naturally lifting like that, so you best believe all of his trainers are juiced out of their mind, 100%.